Let's talk for a moment about Exelon. It is the biggest nuclear power producer in the United States, and its $10 billion purchase of Constellation Energy announced back in April will be America's third largest utility deal of the past five years. Exelon CEO John Rowe has said from the very beginning that the biggest hurdle is getting approval from the state of Maryland because that's where Constellation is based. I spoke to Rowe at Exelon headquarters here in Chicago yesterday, and he made it clear, Maryland had better not ask for too much. We need both some variation on Paul Ryan's approach to entitlements, and at the same time, we need the income tax levels restored to the Clinton level. So I'll try to give a flower in each direction and make both parties mad by saying that. But I think we've got to do both those things. And uh, whether it's the approach of the deficit commission, which has been both praised and blamed, or whether it's the combination I just suggested, I don't think we have any magic pills left to make the economy work just like we want it. Uh, but between the first two years of the Obama administration and the Bush administration, we've had a whole lot of stimulus and it hasn't solved the problem. I think we need to get the fiscal house right and slowly the economy will rebound. Has the administration been too hard, too soft, or just right on Wall Street? The truth is, I don't know. Yesterday, there was an exchange between Ben Bernanke and Jamie Dimon of J.P. Morgan Chase, in which Jamie Dimon was pressing the Fed chairman and almost accusing him of pursuing policies that ran the risk of repeating the mistakes of the 1930s. Is Jamie Dimon speaking for you? Well, I know Jamie fairly well, and I think he does have a genuine concern for the economy. I'm also quite certain he's speaking for his own shareholders and his own industry, just like I would. Um, and I don't know Mr. Bernanke, but I have great respect for what I read about him. And he knows far more about the 30s than I will ever know. Uh, but that said, let me put it this way. Uh, the issue of how you get capital requirements correct for the banking industry has haunted government and banks ever since Alexander Hamilton and Nicholas Biddle. Uh, no one has ever been able to find a truly reliable touchstone for just how much capital different kinds of financial operations require. The one thing we know is different operations require different amounts. In, we work on this in the bank where I'm on the board. Uh, we, I've been on another board. We worked on it there. Uh, there's no magic here. There's a lot of theory and a lot of trial and error. And I think both Chairman Bernanke and Jamie Dimon are trying to reach for the right thing. The one message I would make is, it's better to work on the capital requirements than it is to try to manage every kind of transaction in detail out of Washington. I mean, I'm very big on the kind of regulation that tries to shape the box for the market.